I'm Don Vappi from New Orleans, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about some, some more techniques in comping using the banjo in the band situation. I talked about having a, a short sound, a tight sound, having a ringing sound. It sort of depends on, on the mood of the tune. You know, you want to, every song should be interesting. And what you play when you accompany someone <laughs> should complement what they're doing. Here's an example. I'll play a tune called uh, Careless Love give you an idea. That's a little more interesting than just. You get the idea. What I like to do, Johnny St. Cyr uses these bass lines a lot. And it's, it's a more sparse style of playing. But in a slow song, or even in some fast tunes, actually, it just depends on the tune, given that space actually opens it up for everyone to kind of contribute a little more or less, because sometimes space is good. Uh, I'll play the same song with uh, more space, using what I think is more of a Johnny St. Cyr kind of sound. Now, he played a six-string banjo. It was like a guitar tuning. But I'm going to do it on this tenor, which is tuned in fifths. That's kind of nice. I like that. You know, um, I do want to say this to those of you who haven't actually played a banjo yet, some of you guitar players. What drew me to the banjo was actually just that natural funky sound of it. I used to play in funk bands a long time ago when I started playing. And if you know, when you play a guitar and you play in a funk line, you mute the string. playing these kinds of lines. Well, the banjo has that sound already, and that's sort of what drew me to it. Now, that's not really early jazz, but if you work your way back, you can hear a lot of what we do today in the early music. So I would recommend that when you go back to play that, don't totally disregard what you already know, because it's probably either inside of what's there or it was very much influenced by something from that point in time.